So we look at Titus chapter 2 today. And we're looking at verse 3. And I've, I've been looking at this for a while. And before I got sick. But let's look at what the Bible has to say. <clears throat> Titus 2, 3. The aged woman likewise. That they be in behavior as becoming holiness. The, the aged women to be holy. Not false accusers. Not liars, not running the mouth, not gossipers, not giving too much wine. Teachers of good things. Well, all women ought not to teach. All right. That they may teach the younger woman. Now, the Bible says there are to be no female pastors. But the Bible also teaches by the same writer, Paul. An aged woman is to teach a younger woman. And not vice versa. Now the aged woman likewise is to be holy. If she's not holy, don't go to verse 4. If she gossips, don't run to verse 4. And if she doesn't teach good things, don't run to verse 4. Listen, I come from the state of Connecticut where the aged women run to the casino and run to play bingo and are flapping their gums. Don't move to verse 4. There are women in the Baptist churches, verse 3, there are aged, but they don't know the common sense. They don't know what the Bible says. Don't run to verse 4. That they may teach the young women, the younger women, plural, to be sober. Sober is to be serious and also, hey, stay away from alcohol. <clears throat> to love their husbands. Loving your husband has to be learned, the Bible says. And it must be taught by an aged woman who's been married, who is holy, not a jabber jaw, as a teacher of good things, to love their children. Again, loving your children has to be taught. You know, we got to think today, people, you know, talking about abortion is murder, abortion is murder. Well, number one, Go in all the world and preach the gospel and get them saved. And number two, bring the young women, underage women who are holy, know how to keep their mouths shut, who know how to be teachers of good things, and to love their husbands and love their children. An age woman deal with younger women in the church would, would have hopefully enough holy sense of God. You know what, young lady? You ought not to get married. You're not proper to be married. Young lady, you're getting married. You may realize you, you, you may not just have a husband to take care of. You may have children in the future. To be discreet, chaste, Pure, virtuous. That virtuous woman in Proverbs chapter 31, she's not born virtuous. She doesn't wake up one day, okay, I'm going to be a virtuous woman. Especially in this church age, especially in American women and the English women. You got divorces rampant. You got women today who don't even know what the kitchen is for. Never mind to cook a meal. They don't know how to cook. There's a problem in the Baptist churches today where you got women coming out of the Baptist churches and they don't know how to cook. They don't know how to sew. They don't know how to love their husbands. They don't know how to love their children. When we see in the Bible, here's how to do it. Now watch, let's read more. To be keepers at home. Housekeepers. Oh, that's a bad, evil word. Not in the Bible. 
that virtuous woman, that virtuous woman had a career. Her career was her home. And in that home, she had other avenues of selling, of marketing, of, of growing. But she didn't have a male boss over her, but her husband. Keepers at home, housekeepers, good, good. You have to be taught how to be good. And that begins with both mom and dad, with dad, child rearing, correcting your little girl when she does wrong. That sure is not happening in the Baptist churches. Oh, we'll take our little darling girl to battle arena instead of church. I'll tell you another thing. It, it ought to be done. You come home from a from a from church service, and the preacher in the pulpit has taught the church wrong. Yes, it's proper for the father to be in the car and at the table at home to teach his family. Say, family, you know, pastor said this. Let me show you what the Bible has to say about it. The pastor's not the final authority, my friend. Don't you dare elevate that pastor as he's the word of God, the fourth member of the Trinity, that everything he says is proper and true. That's a Baptist pope. You better believe in my house, and I don't care who's listening to this, if my pastor of my church is taught wrong in the car and in the home, we open up the Bible and we show what the Bible has to say. Now, how's that? <gasps> you have broken Baptist rule number one. You have talked against you. Yeah, if he's wrong, I will talk and I will use the Bible. Does not the Bible say that that the that the wife is to ask her husband at home when it came to when it comes to scripture? Fathers, you're to teach your daughters from the womb. The proper sense of the Bible and growing up in the Bible. Your daughters are to see you reading your Bible. Your daughters to see you praying. Your daughters to see you weep to God about things of issue. Your daughters to see you with Bible stories and not veg vegetable stories, but Bible stories. Fathers, have your children ever seen you with an open reading Bible studying? The obedient to their own husbands, and that's flown out the window of the American Baptist woman today. I'm not listen. I've had Baptist women come up to I don't obey him. Then you all not have got married. Because that used to be, and they take it out, the marriage vows, you obey. You see that right there? You see that? Right there? Look, let me. You see that? I'm going to highlight it. I can highlight it. It didn't work. Or did it? it, did, it did. And, right, let me highlight a different color because you can't see yellow. We'll do pink for girls. Obedient to their own husbands. Not to a male boss. To their own husbands, they go to work. They get a, they get a man that is a supervisor who is married. That's not their husband. Now watch this: that the word of God be not blasphemy. I have been in many Baptist churches since 1987 when I was first saved. <coughs> I know many Baptist churches where the little girls come out of those Baptist churches. They don't even know how to be a wife. They don't know how to be a mother. They don't even know how to be a Christian. A shame to the parents and the shame to the church of what we've been reading. I've had only one church I've been in. Where actually there was a mother that took the girls of their church 
and had an afternoon of teaching their girls how to be girls. I had recently just become a widower. My wife died. I have a little girl. And I don't know what it is to be to be a mother. And this proper godly woman, I'll say she's a godly woman, so you know what? You know, <laughs> that is a serious issue. And she read Titus chapter 2. And she asked me, can I take my daughter? And she took other daughters. And I'm just going to say, took the girls for the whole day, and they taught them feminine things that a man, husband, father has nothing to know about. Oh, you know, we have Baptist fellowships, and we have Baptist this, we have Baptist that. Uh, but do you have Baptist young women coming out of your churches being Christian young ladies? If not, it is the failure of the parents. It is the failure of the aged women. There it is. And I'm going to read it one more time. That the aged woman, as would be some, a woman who's been married, been a mother, maybe widowed or not, that their behavior be become as holiness. I know plenty of Baptist women whose behavior is not holiness. And some of them have even been a Sunday school teacher to the shame of the pastor that has put them into that office. Not false accusers. You know, rumorizers, liars. You know, even Jesus had people came up with false witness. Not giving them much wine. They don't tip the bottle. Teacher of good things. I've seen some Baptist churches where the, where the women teach you how to play cards, how to how to how to roll dice and and, and board games. Here I got I got I got a book about witches and I got books about you know demons and I got you know I can teach you yoga and and all this other nonsense. That's not good things. That's not biblical things. Don't you shut your mouth? That don't belong in the church house. Did you hear what she said? Did you see what clothes she did? Do you know what she does? Shut up! Yeah, a very rare chance have I ever heard a Baptist woman ever say. I'm sorry, I've been in many Baptist churches. I've been saved since 19. It has been a rare chance for a woman to come. You know what I read in the Bible this week? That they may teach, they, the aged women, they may teach the younger women to be sober, serious, without wine, without alcohol. To be serious. Marriage is serious. How can marriage be serious when the pastor's up at the pulpit cracking jokes about marriage? Marriage is no joking matter. The first two things that God gave Adam was God gave Adam a job in the garden and he gave a wife. Go back in Genesis and check it out. Find me one joke in the Bible about marriage. We're a, we're a biblical church. Find me a joke about marriage. And I'm a I'm great one for jokes. Nothing more funnier than a Polish joke. And I'm Polish. I've also been married twice, widowed twice, and marriage is not a joke. Oh, you're too, yeah, I'm too. We'll see at the judgment seat of Christ. 
to love their husbands. Again, loving your husband has to be taught. Well, you no, know, we got a whole bunch of people. You know, they just don't love their husbands. You better shut up. Because that's a poor testimony of your church. That means the aged women would have to have a counseling session with the younger. You know, my husband, may, okay, relax. You know, he's a man. You can't expect much from him. You know, he was made from dirt. You got to have patience. To love their children. Oh, you don't get believe what those kids did. I know, they do it. You got to love them. You got to care for them. God gave them to you. God gave you that husband. God gave you those children. It's called patience. Get yourself off in the backyard somewhere and get yourself a big ball. And every time they, they get up, kick the ball. Instead of the children, instead of the husband. Get yourself a nice little plant and yell at that plant instead of your husband and children. And you'll see how quick that plant will die. Got it? Oh, the church and the family's all broken. Hush! Because that doesn't have a good testimony of your church. To be discreet, chaste, pure, keepers at home. Don't mind the mess. Oh, oh. We're going on a ladies' night. <laughs> This ought to be read with Proverbs 31. Good. The Bible says that younger women are to be good. That means the aged women have to teach the women what good is. How can the aged women teach what good is if they're not become holy? You got unholy, filthy, unclean women leading the young women in the Baptist churches today. And that's why you got the mess we are in the church age today. Obedient, and that's highlighted, see it? Obedient to their own husbands. And when we come to the close of this thing, that the word of God, see that right there? Let me, hold on. The word of God, and we'll put that under, we'll give it a, a blue. The word of God, be not blasphemy. The failure of your young women, because the failure of your age women, and the conduct of the failure of the families and the failures of the church today in the Laodicean church age, blasphemy, the word of God even if your church is a Bible-believing church. If your age women and your young women are failures, you have blaspheming the word of God. And your church is failure in the eyes of God, if you're blaspheming the word of God. And with this, not only you need to read Proverbs chapter 31, but you need to read Revelation chapter 3, where it begins with, unto the church of the Laodiceans right. To the end of the verse.
the failure of the families, the failures of the church today is, when was the last time you were in the book of Titus that you read it? And here's, here's one last thing. Go into your Baptist church, go up to the women that are married and say, do you obey you, your husband? And see what kind of attitude you get with Titus chapter 2, verse 5. And if you get a negative statement about obeying their husband, you're in violation. Your church has blessed me the word of God. Don't you get mad at Stiley Hayward. You get mad at the pastor. You get mad at the women of your church, the age and the younger women. That you, not Stiley, has blasphemed the word of God. Have a good day.